The symposium, it's our hope to bring leading figures in and around the pharmaceutical industry and who can shed light on what's happening, why it's happening, where things seem to be going, what the issues are that impact the future of drug discovery and drug development, and how do we help to return New Jersey to its former status as the medicine chest of the world. I'm waiting to hear from the representative from the FDA, and I would like to hear her take on the trends in the pharmaceutical industry and how she feels things are going to be changing going forward. Toss the product over the fence and hope for the best. Now, I don't know about any of you, but that's not how I want to treat patients. That's not how I want to be cared for. It's crucial to, to have place that Rutgers host this type of event because, in fact, we can't um, bring about the change we need, the innovative change we need, without capitalizing the expertise that Rutgers brings to it. Terrific uh, coming together of uh, regulatory and industry uh, perspectives on the challenge of drug development and, uh, and how do we make a successful business out of bringing miracles uh, to the market. Are we going to look at the short-term cost of medicine or are we rather going to look over the life of the patient so that we can bring and continue to bring to patients the kind of innovative medicines that are really life-changing and life-saving? I've worked in the industry for the past three years and have never had access to people uh, kind of with this uh, tenure in the industry. So those are, this is all new, brand new cutting edge issues. I was just talking to the reporter, he said, we, I got the big news for tomorrow, some breaking news. Rutgers is right in the middle of the pharma industry. It's a huge economic driver for New Jersey. Uh, there's a lot of talented individuals and companies around here that really need to be interacting with a university like Rutgers. In terms of the networking and in terms of interviewing and having access to great companies, uh, there's no better than Rutgers Business School. The last century was known as the century of chemistry. This century is going to be known as the century of biology as new biologicals make their debut and impact diseases in ways that we could not have dreamed of just a few short years ago. 